Hey all, it's Dr. John. Today I thought we'd do a little chit chat about the latest neuromodulator that just hit the market, which is called Latibo. Latibo is a botulinum toxin type A neuromodulator. It has been used forever in Korea, and that's where it originates from. It's the number one toxin uh, neuromodulator in Korea. And um, Latibo is that version FDA approved in the United States. It's currently FDA approved just for cosmetic reasons and just for the glabella. However, like any, any of these toxins, feel free to go off label with it and try it in some other areas that you might think it would work well with. Uh, it comes at 100 unit vials, just like Botox. It's a 900 kilodalton um, structure protein, just like Botox. In fact, the formulation is just like Botox. Uh, when we look at the excipients, um, how much neuromodulators in each vial, how much um, human um, serum albumin's in there, it looks identical to me. So what's probably gonna happen is, and this has happened several times, is that Allergan, the makers of Botox, are probably gonna be putting a lawsuit on them. They've done this with Juvo, which is very similar to Botox, um, and uh, they'll probably do it with Latibo, and they also did it with uh, Revance's um, uh, Daxify as well. Um, if they think that the way they made it is similar to the way that Allergan makes theirs. Um, Allergan has a patent on the process of extracting botulinum toxin type A from bacteria. And if they use a similar process, we'll probably see a lawsuit in, in the works um, from Allergan to uh, Latibo. But to the uh, day of this filming, we haven't seen that yet. Uh, I haven't got my hands on it yet, but I did talk to the rep and I asked a whole bunch of questions. And one of their claims to fame is that it is at full effect in as little as three days. Um, none of the other neural modulators make that claim. 50% uh, of, of clients notice that changes starting as early as one day later with the majority at full effect at three, at three days. So that could be a pretty big game changer. The other thing that the rep told me, and I have to verify this through literature is that it has a very low immunity uh, reaction rate. Remember, it's been studied for decades in Korea, and I'm being told that 0.3% of patients will build up an immune response, which is significantly lower than Botox and Dysport. Botox, I think, is around 6%, and Dys Dysport's around 11%. Um, so for an immune response, it doesn't quite beat out Zeomin, but it's definitely down there with Zeomin. So latest one out there, uh, probably the biggest push for you guys, if you want to bring this into your practice, is the price point. Uh, full price price is almost half off of what you can buy Botox for. Botox currently in the United States sells for around $660 a vial before you know, any discounts. This one's going to be selling around $400 a vial or in the $300 range and with and they'll have bulk buying power as well. So I'm going to get my hands on it and we're going to try it out in my practice. Uh, I'll probably do a split face on myself where I might do Juvo on one side and Latibo on the other, other or Botox and Latibo and we can kind of see. Um, but it's coming and as soon as I get my hands on it, we'll do another one of these videos and update you on what that looks like. So hope that helps.